clock is not Limerick's friend at this moment in time. Certainly not when Seamus Harnady is back in the game and it's 2v2 back there. A big hand goes up for Hayes. Hayes spins. Hayes. Point. He would have loved a goal, but right now they'll take whatever is in front of them. Yeah, that was a great win again. And it's Seamus Harnady again, directing a long ball, 2-1-2 two two inside. Hayes brilliant in the air. Car call for home now. And they win the Limerick puck out and the referee He's called that as a throw. He's called that as a throw against Ethan Toomey. Uh, look, he's in a good position, and we've been talking about this stuff all day. It's the image you yeah. present the referee. He's got, he looks at it in real time. We can look at it backwards, upside down, whatever. The decision has been given as a free. Exactly. The frustrating thing is you know, the amount of them, and there's a couple given here and there. So, Galan, with their 26th point, and you know, Limerick a lot of times talk about getting to 30 points, and it wins most matches, that's not going to do today, was this a throw? Oh, actually the replay's been shown in the stadium as well, what did you think of that? I think it's a hand pass, no, close it up. I was looking at it, yeah, the flick daylight. an announcement here in the stadium I don't know what it's about but it's not affecting us and it's not affecting what's happening out on the field with those 30 players 66th minute Cork leading the four in a row All-Ireland champions in the fight of their lives again we've seen them so many times over the years come out the right side of it Keane Lynch been responsible for getting them out of trouble and digging them out of tight spots many times the Cork crowd wanted a foul for the hand pass there. There's Darrow Donovan, the all-star, one of several all-stars still out on the field. And it's an opportunity, a scoring opportunity for, for Limerick, which is taken by Shane O'Brien. Yeah, you're dead right there. That's what they're looking for, is the throw ball. That's right in front of the ref. Like so Robbie O'Flynn on for Seamus Harnady, who's put in so shift for his county today. He has been unbelievable, it's just purely fresh legs. Robbie O'Flynn, Shane Kingston, they're there now, they have massive pace. The puck out routine, trusted again by Patrick Collins and Cork. Not getting as much distance on it, but all they want is the ball. Here's Shane Kingston, a wizard on his day, just slipped. Turf obviously a bit greasy here. Now it's Shane Barrett, big block down, massive block down by Kyle Hayes, who's been trying to get himself into the game, doing lots of defensive work. That is a Limerick ball. That's a serious block down by Hayes. Watch him coming across here. Eyes on the ball all the way. Oh, but Garot Hurty tried to take that quickly. And I think he may be glad that it was pulled back because I thought he was going to lose possession of the ball for his team. And we're going to throw it in I to restart the ref didn't agree I think with the with Limerick getting the ball he threw okay. it in here's Garold Hegarty they have the ball now Dan Morrissey Morrissey just belted that up the field it's three on three up there three attackers three defenders they won't panic Limerick they certainly won't panic and there's Adam English with the score massive Limerick roar they won't go away, they're not going to give up this Liam McCarthy without the fight of their lives. That's a brilliant score, brilliant balance. Uh, O'Brien and English, two points each as the commander inside there, the two of them now, the Wickel and the Limerick need to keep winning possession, get it in there. What a catch by Lynch. Absolutely, here they come. This is why they're all Ireland champions four times in a row. Garrod Hegarty missed what you call a sitter in the first half and he's nailed that one. And he's just strolling nonchalantly around Croke Park as if he's out in the back garden, Michael talked about it earlier, Lynch set it up, two between them. And it's their ability to keep their shape. Hayes has gone centre-back for the last 20 minutes to get him more involved, or 15 minutes. Lynch has picked up there if it's given. Both moves have worked well. Now you're going to see what Cork are really made of. I know they're leading, but it doesn't feel that way. Another Cork took out, because it's going to come straight back at them. Dermot Burns fouled. The Cork supporters who are sitting near us are livid with the referee. They, they don't think it was a free. I think the referee actually is going to get the notebook out as well. Yeah, he'd know where to go, uh, Dermot Burns. He was trapped in there. Bit of a knee, I think, came up there. That's it. 
We're going to probably have five minutes extra time, so there's still loads of time. So a yellow for Brian Hayes. This is it. And like it's well, it's high hurdles at the Olympics. There's nowhere to go, as Michael said. And Dermot Burns, he he can't be thinking about. Well, look, he'll drop it in around and see what happens. Last minute of the 70 plus possibly five. This is dropping short on the 13 meter line. Wonderful catch, brilliant by Dara Fitzgibbon. He's been awesome today. Mark Coleman hasn't been far behind. Their lead has been chipped away at. Shane Kingston. All very tight. The pressure arrives over there. Ball turned over. Here they come. This is Shane O'Brien. O'Brien, talk about impacts up. He's put that wide. Wide from Shane O'Brien. The lead is still at two. Shane Kingston fumbled that again. And what a pick up by Adam English. A lovely ball. Look at the way he switched hands here. That's outstanding skill. Shane O'Brien maybe should have kept going with that. In the context of the game, that's a massive wide. So we know this is going to go deep. Galan tried to put pressure on. It's four minutes we're going to have added on. Four additional minutes. And Cork Shane Barrett has the ball. Massive game he's had for them. Barrett with Sean Finn in front. Barrett for Cork. Barrett takes on the effort. He's hit the post. But it comes back down. Hoggy with the shot. What a save by Nicky Quay. Horgan didn't catch hold of it. And Limerick, a mess at the back as they try and clear the ball. Frantic stuff. And Cahill O'Neill has got it for Limerick. And out they come. They could have considered a goal down the other end. Here's the reply. This is Aidan O'Connor. O'Connor from 55 metres away. And Aidan O'Connor has missed. Huge miss. That was an unbelievable passage of play. Off the post, Patrick Horgan. Look at the reaction for Horgan. But can't... Nicky Quay did what Collins did in the first half. He threw his body on the line. Fergal O'Connor with a wide lance coming off his shoulder, left, right and centre, and he went for a bit of a pot shot. Wrong option. For Epic, let's have Monumental, let's have Herculean. That's what it's been all the way through. And Limerick are not done. Call O'Neill. O'Neill launching it in on top of Galan. This is pressure for Collins. And it breaks loose. It's gone wide. No, it's still in play. Now it's wide. Now it's wide. It's not a 65. It is wide. Oh, Connor O'Neill's ball, it was neither a, lot, a ball in or a shot for a score, it went too far. Galan wanted that coming five yards short and he could go out and field it off his legs and out wide. Look at that clock, top left-hand corner of your screen. If you're from Cork, those seconds will feel like minutes, the minutes, hours, you know all that sort of stuff. Declan Hannon for Limerick. They've one hand on the Liam McCarthy, can Cork take grab it out of their hands and take the place in the final that's awesome from Niall O'Leary and O'Leary has been fouled he's been fouled by Garrod Hegarty Hegarty the referee's got the notebook out so more seconds will go as Cork get ready to take this free and they get ready to bring Podrick Power from Blarney on for Patrick Horgan and he's saying the free I need to take the free Declan Dalton's off, Patrick Horgan's off, who takes the free? Yeah, that's a really good point. Um, I should have delayed it for 10 seconds. Well, who is going to take the free? Horgan has gone off. And look, but look, look at all these seconds disappearing. The little bit of confusion from a Cork perspective, that's what they want. Now they're going to have to get somebody. Patrick Horgan will not be back on. So two points between them. Mark Coleman took about five yards there as well. There's confirmation of Hegarty's cards. Limerick, well, if this goes over, it's a huge word. Coleman drills it in, and it's not going to go over. It's going to stay at a two-point game. So, Limerick, and look, you've got to go for goal now to win it, do you? The clearance doesn't find a Limerick bat, and here come Cork again. Ahead of the meeting in Parky Quays, they were in danger of going out of the Munster Championship. There would have been massive pressure on Pat Ryan had they lost that day. They put in a performance for the ages, and this one, probably even better than that, when you consider the context, you consider the setting, the occasion, what's at stake? A place in the All-Ireland Final. Cork haven't scored since the 64th minute. And the rebel roar again is all around Croke Park. Half a minute left. Yeah, John Kiley is ar arguing with the fourth official. Thomas Lee, they said, we need more time here. This has been delayed all over the place. 
Well, there have been all sorts of delays. And Keane Lynch is fouled. So we go past the four minutes. There's no question about that. But Limerick, their grip on that trophy, it really is slipping. It's definitely good. This is going in around the house from Dermot Burns. A goal now would win it. Lynch went up after it. Downey kind of fluffed it a bit, but he's held on to it. And Collins gets ready to clear. Shane Kingston, they were taken asunder, torn apart, humiliated in 2021. And they've won it here. Croker through to the All-Ireland final. And Limerick's bid for five in a row ends in the semi-final. There will be no history for them. They made history in Munster, but there's no history coming as the five in a row All-Ireland hurling champions. They have been awesome champions, a brilliant, brilliant team. But today, they came up against a better team, and Cork have won. Darren, what a game of hurling. It was unbelievable from start to finish. The pace never, uh, never diminished, and I have to say, Cork fully deserved that win. They depended very strongly on the starting 15. They're six forwards. I said it during the game. They're absolutely outstanding from Dick and Dalton through to Brian Hayes. Uh, they were just unreal right throughout the field. Patrick Collins and goals. It was one of the best team performances I've seen, and it took it to take down who have caught Limerick, who have been brilliant champions. This five in a row is so hard to do. We saw the Dubs footballers do it. Kenny couldn't do it. Limerick couldn't do it. But they gave it everything. It was a fantastic performance. But Cork Bar John now to play it there. Repeated the 13 final, um, which was it was it was a 13 or 14, I can't remember. 13, 13, 13 went to a replay. Went to a replay, yeah. yeah. And Shane O'Donnell and Tony Kelly and John Collins.